you know, you know, my thing is if you if you're a kid and you're at home and you don't pay rent and your parents is listening to my music, by the time you get your own apartment, you'll probably be playing my music in your house. particular track i'm definitely going for an isley brothers track i'm gonna make the bass line kind of bounce you know boom 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 i'm gonna make it bounce because i'm all about basses bouncing drums bouncing most of my songs i've written in my whole career started with guitar I love chords, I love these tiny little circles. Living in a neighborhood where people was driving, you know, 1965 Falcons and Mustangs, the Deuce and the Quarters, and they had all this beat in their cars. And then when I would go play, I would try to emulate that feeling, you know, of those records. Sweeping, flanger, and this, this round sound, this, this uh, distorted phase really beefy Telecaster type of sound. Warm, I, I like bite. This guy is responsible for recording everything I'm doing right now with Alex Jang. Hey, hey, my name is Alex Jang. Oh. I said that already. <laughs> <laughs> this, this song was crazy. I fell just sat on the Stevie Wonder chair, started strumming some chords, just came up with this progression. And he's like, oh, did you catch that? Got the loop and it's going through a Princeton reverb. I believe it's 1968. And I mean, that amp is just classic. You don't really need to do too much to that amp. RCA 77DX ribbon, chorus and a delay, got some distortion and played that. My double with the best bang. Yeah, went right into the room, played the drums real quick, <laughs> laid down the bass. Yeah, Ray, Ray just looked at me and said, let's send this to Rob. Me and Rob Bacon come from the same school. He's from Detroit, I'm from Oakland. He's my go-to. Now there's some badass guitar players out there can play and will play solos all day, but nobody will never ask them to play a solo in a, in a session. The whole song was leading up to a guitar solo, which you don't hear guitar solos today. It's just missing. So I was like, I'm gonna be the one a guitar solo in the middle of the record and it's not going to be eight bars it's going to be 16 bars that was um the premise of something keeps calling but what was calling was, was guitar <laughs> 